watermelon farmers or farmers who want to get into watermelon one thing you need to know about watermelon farming watermelon farming is purely the fruit the fruit size the fruit color and the fruit taste that is the the, the last testing the fruit taste but before you get the taste you need to get the size right you need to get the numbers right and also you need to get the colors light and what brings all these uh the size the taste and the colors and the numbers is nutrition and that is what we'll be discussing today about watermelon nutrition and watermelon nutrition is subdivided into three or four categories we have the planting that is the first category nutrition we have the vegetative the, the second category we have the flower and fruiting, the third category, and the ripening. But now some farmers may not take the four categories, may decide to go with three categories, which is planting, uh, vegetative, fruit, flower, flowering and fruiting, and also combines with the ripening. They complete their nutrition there. So we've already done uh, our first fertilizer during planting. You remember that? I've already taken you through a uh, planting of watermelon. You saw how I planted them. We applied our first fertilizer. To remind you, our first fertilizer was a phosphorus-based fertilizer. And in my case, I used a very special product. I used DAP to transplant my watermelon. There are other uh, fertilizer which are breaded fertilizer. You can use them like uh, DAP Plus. That's a very good product because it's a breaded NPK with the different trace element, but very rich in phosphorus. Good for transplanting. Then from there, we dive directly to the stage we are in at the moment, which is vegetative stage. At this stage, is a very critical stage. I've already done my fertilizers a uh, few weeks ago. And at this stage, you need to come up with a with a fertilizer that is going to make your 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 crop vegetative and to mean vegetative that must be a high nitrogen in that fertilizer and i like dap i do the planting with npk 2323 and also do a top dressing of npk 2323 or npk 17. that does very well on top of that i do a foliar spray I nitrogenous foliar spray so that it can give me a good vegetative crop and once you, you achieve a good vegetative crop you call for the next next action which is usually flower and fruiting and this is a very critical stage because this is where we start making money we start making money by counting our fruit because this is where we count our fruit you make a flower you make a fruit you keep a fruit you know you are going to the market so at at fruit at um flowering and fruiting stage you need to come up with the, with the uh, nutritional approach of a calcium based product very key and also zinc boron based product in most cases the granular fertilizers comes with boron but we supplement the zinc uh, component using foliage because they don't carry the, the zinc then do a zinc calcium boron foliar very good sometimes back i was doing a pure boron uh, spray foliar and i was also doing a pure zinc with other trace element spray foliar which was giving me all the flowers that i was looking for and maintaining the fruit not to fall remember the boron allows the uptake of calcium which is important for the for the fruit and also the zinc makes the flower not to fall you've experienced flower abortion in your in your field that is the the, the biggest challenge the zinc and uh, then from there the next approach uh, which comes now after you've seen the fruits after the fruit are formed that is where we are going to the ripening i usually come with another calcium based product but this time round i also introduce a potassium rich product in most cases i can do triple 17 which is a is a common product that i usually do or anything that is rich in potassium is usually very good at fruiting stage so that you can make your fruit big fruit attractive and fruit very sweet hope you've learned something from her to this discussion about the nutritional approach from planting to completing if you have any question if you have any additional information you can leave it on the comment section and for more information about watermelon farming from setting the farm 
to the marketing go to my youtube channel at farm with fred subscribe and we continue learning together if you need a fertilizer plan a spray plan also don't forget tell me on the comment section also you can use this number uh to request for this for the spray and fertilizer plan and it, it at a cost it's not free it at a cost and don't forget to follow this page so that we can continue growing together